Uh, huh? W what? Oh, um, hello and welcome to Infinity's Bookstore. Uh, how may I help you? <laughs> I'm really sorry for scaring you like that. I'm quite the daydreamer. Um, am I okay? Uh, yes, very much so. <laughs> Again, I'm sorry for my very sudden greeting. Good morning? Uh, yeah, good morning to you too as well. We sure hope you pick something out and enjoy it. You're welcome. I look familiar? Uh, we're in the same class. I'm Ambi. I sit behind you. I yeah. The shy one that looks outside aimlessly. I'm so embarrassed. Uh, yeah. Uh, so, what's on our plans for today? Uh, any books that catch your eyes this couple of months? A lot of books have arrived, and they're all interesting. You should take a look at them. I haven't read them all, but I'm sure they'll be awesome. I'll let you be, and if you need any assistance, I'll be right here. You're here. Oh no, what am I going to do? I mean, I see you every day, and we basically know each other, but... You're alone with me, and... Uh, mm, snap out of it. You'll get through this just like any other day. Oh, you're calling me? Hmm? Do you need some assistance? Uh, you seem lost. Uh, what's the matter? You don't know what to read? <laughs> uh, well, I don't blame you. We have so many books. We don't know what to do with them. Though... If you want, I can recommend you a few books. Are you open to different genres, though? <laughs> I'm just embarrassed by my genre of books, and I thought maybe you wouldn't like those. All right. Uh, have you ever heard of Silent Honor? It's about an 18-year-old Japanese girl who goes to study in America just before the Second World War. Oh, you've already read it? Uh, then... What chapters did you love the most? I love chapter 8. Uh, you like that chapter too? <laughs> You're making me smile. Who could have thought we had the same taste in books? <laughs> Snap out of it. Oh? <laughs> yeah, me too. I find that chapter funny as well. Uh, well, uh, how about... Uh, Lord of the Rings. It's the most classic fantasy novel there is. Uh, oh, you're done reading it as well? You you love the characters? <laughs> yeah, I feel the same way. Oh, uh, how about... Uh, how to Train Your Dragon? It's a little childish, but I like the low fantasy aspects of it. Oh, you just watched the movie? I recommend the book, nonetheless. The characters are written almost completely differently. It's like a totally different experience. Anything else? Um, I'll recommend... Uh, that book? <sighs> that looks familiar. Oh no, not that. <laughs> no, 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 um... You can't read this book, because it's bad. It has nothing special to offer. It's purely based on the life of a high school student. I think it's bland and cliche. It's been overused by different authors. And have you seen the cover? There's no design on it. It's just a title. White cloth and just letterings. It's so ugly. No, it doesn't have style. It's a boring story. Oh, I didn't want to shout at you. I'm sorry for raising my voice. I just wanted to impress you with my taste in genres. I don't want you to read it because I wrote it. Hard to believe, huh? Yeah, me, your classmate who seems to not have much to offer, just read a book because they believed they could do it. It is finished and I submitted it to various publishing companies, but they all rejected it. 
I tried to edit it to the point where it's not worth editing anymore. I grew tired and afraid, and it's not worth reading anymore. You're still going to read it? Uh, are you sure you won't get bored about it? <sighs> Come on, don't lie to me. You just want to be nice. I know what you're doing. No, I'm sorry I think like that. I just don't want to waste your time. I can tell you what it's about. The book is all about me. How my life is going and how I fell in love with someone who hardly knew I existed. Yeah, it's like a journal. A journal of a student with no special traits in mind. Of all I said and how I feel about that person is written in that book you're holding. Yeah, it's pretty unique, but if you're being honest, it's pretty average and boring. Unlike the books I recommended to you, that's why I don't want you to see it. Never mind, read it. You're probably weirded out by this. I'll be at the counter if you need anything. No, not that. It's a love letter, and it's for you. What? You'll read it? And you'll help me improve my book in order for me to finally publish it? Why? Uh, why are you doing these things? I, I don't deserve this. You're being really kind and sincere. I don't know if that's pity or... But what did I do to deserve you? I'm just a shut-in, and whenever I am outside, I just daydream. Nothing really special about that. You'll probably just get bored of me, and it's not your fault why you'll eventually leave me. I I'm sorry if I'm bugging you. Hmm? You're not bothered by me? Y you'll read my book regardless, just to know who I am and how I feel? <laughs> You know, you're making it harder for me to confess. I thought this encounter would only happen in my head. I always thought you'd never notice me. But here we are. And I'm not going to keep you waiting any longer. Okay, here we go. You deserve a proper confession. And that's by telling you. Not by writing it on a piece of paper. I've hidden these feelings for a long time. And I think it's time for you to know. I, I love you.